The next pattern in the Dealing with Generalization series is sort of the opposite of the previous pattern. And this one is called Extract Superclass. The motivation here is that we have two or more classes with similar features. You can create a superclass and move the common features to that. So in our example, we have this employee, which has a name, an ID, and an annual cost. We have this department, which also has a name, has a list of employees for the department staff, the total annual cost, which is the sum of each employee's annual cost, and some other things like the department headcount and functionality to add employees to the staff. And so the obvious common functionality is this name, and of course the constructor logic that sets the name. And then of course we also have this annual cost and even though the total annual cost has a different name, it really means the same thing. It's the aggregate annual cost for that department calculated by the sum from all the employees. So we're going to move those to a superclass. Let's start by creating the superclass, make it abstract, and call it party. It has no implementation yet, we're just going to make these child classes of that. Now we can begin to move that implementation to the superclass. Let's start with the obvious one, this name field. In fact, we'll make this protected. Now we can just get rid of name on these child objects. There shouldn't be any changes there. We still have the duplicated code in the constructors, though. And in fact, just logically, it makes sense that the class which owns a field should own the construction of that field. So as our next discrete step, let's create this constructor. And now the compiler is going to tell us that the parent object has no default constructor, and so we have to use the one that's provided. At the same time, we can then remove these setters from the constructor logic here, because the base constructor is taking care of that, and we can go ahead and make this private again. No breaking changes. We can we compile, run any tests that we have, make sure everything is still good. But we've effectively pulled up that field and pulled up that constructor body. Now we want to pull up this other one, this annual cost. Well, the first thing we're going to have to do there is rename it. So we'll just use rename field on this. But we can't pull it up to a common functionality because they're calculated in different ways. So instead, what we're going to do up here is make this abstract. And it only needs a getter, because there's the public functionality is only ever get. This one has a private setter. And so now, the easy one here is to just put override on that. This one with the C-sharp compiler, if we tried to override it directly, it would complain about this setter because the, the parent field has no setter. So instead of an auto-implemented property here, we're going to create a backing field. We could turn that backing field into a private property in and of itself. There's a lot of refactoring we could do there. It's just not necessary for this pattern. But now we can apply that override keyword, recompile, run any tests that we have, and validate that we haven't changed functionality there either. Now essentially that's all we've needed to do. We've extracted that superclass. So now we want to take a look at some of the benefits of having done that. Now, nothing's really changed in the employee class, but if we look at this department, maybe we might want to add some features to the system such that a department could contain another department. We might have a hierarchical structure of this in a larger organization. And so we can 
now use that general abstract class throughout our department. We can add, add a party to the department. So we can have one department then take ownership of another one and still that annual cost is going to trickle upward as an overall aggregate for any parent department. And while we're doing that, we might want to change some names, make something a little more intuitive here. Uh, for now, we can just call this parties. It's not restricted to just staff anymore. To rename this one as well, of course. And continuing with the same pattern of renaming. But that's the benefit that we've achieved by abstracting that, that now a department is no longer uh, tightly bound to just being a list of employees. It can be a list of anything that satisfies this functionality, which could be, in this case, another department. That's it for the extract superclass pattern. Thanks for watching.